Welcome to this video. This video we will look at how we can run Postgres database with Docker. Then we will try to connect database from PG Admin and Azure Data Studio. Before we are going to start, we need to install Docker Desktop and Azure Data Studio in our local machine. We need to get Postgres image from Docker Hub container registry. This is the official image for Postgres database. For pulling image from container registry, we can use docker pull command. It will take 1 or 2 minutes to complete the download. Now downloading is completed. We can verify the image by using docker images command. Running the image, we can use docker run command with the parameters. First parameter for container name, then port number, then password for default user, minus D stand for run background, then image name. We can verify the container by using docker ps command. Connecting database, we can use PG Admin or Azure Data Studio. First, we will try with PG Admin. This is the official image for PG Admin. First, we need to pull the image. It will take few minutes. Now the downloading is completed. We can verify the image by using docker images command. Next we need to run the image with the parameters. We need to pass name, port number, default username and password and image name. We can verify by using docker ps command. You can see the port number is 5051 and we will try to connect through browser. We need to give username and password. Now it is redirected to home page. Click on add new button give the name provide the host name if we are connecting from the docker we need to provide ip address we can get the ip address by using ip config command and copying this ip address We need to change the username. Password. Now the DB is connected. Next we will create a new database. database is created. Next we need to create a table named as employee. We will add two columns. Now table is created. We will try to insert records. Record is inserted successfully. Now we will try to retrieve the data. 
values are getting from the table. Next, we are trying with the Azure Data Studio. Before we are going to start, we need to install the plugin. I have already installed in my Azure Data Studio. We need to select the connection type, then server name. Server name you can provide as a local host, then username and password. Now the instance is connected. Next, we will try to retrieve the data from employee table. Values are getting from the employee table. If you have any question, please put in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.